Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, I was doing this card um, earlier on, which you will just see on the video. And I thought, you know what, it's such a faff because I had to do the mask and then do the, um, you know, stenciling and stuff on top of it, then do the um, stamping, colouring, da da da, da etc. And I thought, you know what, there must be a, a simpler, easier hacks way of doing this. So I thought I'd try it. So this is the original card, which you saw um, maybe the same day, maybe a day or so earlier. And all I've done this time is I have cut out two of the um, die cuts for the baubles. Any bauble die cut you've got, um, if you haven't got one, then just draw a circle and just put a little top on it. Um, it's a fairly simple sort of thing to do. I'm using a sponge dauber. No, I'm not. I'm using a blending brush. And um, this is the mask that I had to make, etc. And I'm using um, a dark ink, so I'm using Knight of Navy. And I'm going to literally I'm not going to use this one I'm going to use a sponge dauber because I want the outside to be really dark and I want the inside to be slightly paler so let me just get out um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sponge around the outside to start off with and you can see it's a really dark color so you can see how it comes out nicely And because it's quite a simple shape, you don't have to be overly um, careful of getting it in all of the areas because it will come out wherever you want it. So I'm just going round again because I want it fairly dark round the edges because that's what's going to show on the paper. And that's given me my outside. I'm going to do a couple actually because I think I could probably do two in the time it took me to do um, just the one just to show you how quickly it is and I think it works as well um, as doing it the traditional way where you do it just as a one layer so I've done both of those um, now I'm going to take a slightly paler colour because I want to have a little bit of different definition coming through so I'm going to take this one which is a turquoisey blue take the um, sponge dauber and go round the outside so I'm taking the um, dark outside and dragging that in a little bit as well so that just gives a little bit of extra color coming through without it being too much okay but you can see it's quite a quick I've got I've got bits on my fingers from doing it the other way but this I've now done two um, relatively easily without it being too much of a hassle at all um, it's quite nice having the two colors so let's just put that up like that and then all I'm going to do is I've still got my mask on there that I can use um, and I've got a little deer which I really like. So I want the deer to come in the center of each of these. And I'm using for that a Versafine Claire because it's very fine and this is the twilight. So I'm literally just inking this up and I'm gonna put him in on the center there because I really like the little look of him. He's really small and dainty, but really Christmassy. And I'm going to put the other one in the centre of that one. Okay, so I'm just showing you how to that I'm doing it with two 
relatively quickly and simply without it being too much of hassle now this is the bigger tree so and these are all cardio stamps um i did show you on the other video but that's that one and this one can go in on here like that slightly different angles but that's fine let's take that one off and then we've got the little tree which can come in like this i'm going to take him up a little bit and i might um take a little one just in that way to give a little bit of a shadow in on there and this one can come there I'm not going to do a little one like that on that side and I might even do a little one like that on there as well just giving a little bit it should really be behind shouldn't it so let's take it that way and we'll have that one coming behind and let's see if I can get just another one in on here there we go just a few little pieces like that so that's that bit with a little bit of extra shadow then all I need to do is, and I'm using the sponge drawer again because I think it's easier. I'm not going to add any more ink to it, but I just want to ground these ones now. So I'm going to do one like this through where the deer is. And I'm just sponging through just carefully on top that way. And we'll do it on this one as well. like that and if I wanted to do just a little bit one on the bottom I could just do that I'm going to take this the opposite way like that so we've just got some little pieces on there to give that just a little bit of, of colour and, and whatever on there. Then you can add your um, twinkly bits and things to make it look a little bit more Christmassy. So I've just got some of these um, glitter glue. Um, so you've got it all in there. So you don't have to do the two steps of adding the glitter and then putting it in. And I'm just putting a little bit here, there. And if I can get it to come out got much left of it actually but yeah I'm just putting a little bit as if it's got snow coming down on this one and then I'm just going to do a little bit on where the snow is coming just in on here to just give a little bit of Sparkle in on there like that now I've just got to be careful for it to dry but then if I take um, I've just done a little bit of carb the same sort of size if I just take this one and we want to then put where it was going to come so in on this center part which I've still got the old piece of mask in like this so all I need to do now is to take the blending brush and just add a little bit of colour round in on the outside. And that's got to be, you don't need to even um, have sort of a mask in on there, but it works a little bit better, I think. So I've got the blue and I'm going to have a little bit of the dark. Um, not quite that dark, mid-dark in on here. So let's put this in first. And all I'm doing is, is taking this on here and caking that round. Whoops, I haven't really turned it round. That's fine because I don't actually need it on there because it's going to be on a stencil so I'm just using it so I've got the shape of where I want it 
and then I'm going to take some of this blue because I want to take that in and just take it round on the side a bit so you've got the two different colours of blue just coming through like that and then all I need to do is is to put this in on here I think that one's nicer careful of me getting glue everywhere put that in on the center like that and I think that that works um, let me take get the original back um, I need to clean this off so I'm not putting my card down on there but if you look at this so I've got that on there I didn't stick it down because I wasn't totally clean but can you see on there how I think that that actually looks better than that um, my personal opinion I don't even know whether that glue has dried completely um, but if I put that in on the center um, and rather than drawing it on which I did on this one what I would do is I would get a little bit of twine so I've got some gold or some silver or, or probably silver because I've got silver in there a little bit of silver twine on here put that in on the center and then you've got that I can tie a little bow if I want to and put it on and then I'm just going to put the Merry Christmas again down on the bottom and I think that for me looks nicer than this one um, don't know what you think but in my opinion it's taken half the time and I think it looks better because you've got that really sort of dark silhouette and I think that that looks lovely so opinions leave me in the comments what you think you'll have seen the other video because I'll probably put them both up um, back to back of each other so you can actually see them but this one has been 12 minutes and the other one was about 22 minutes so thank you so much for watching me as always please stay safe and well please be kind and look forward to seeing you soon bye bye